Among Kitron's customers are global leaders within high-tech industries, from medical devices to aerospace. However, we are not only a producer of technology, we are also a user of technology, and in some cases, we even develop it ourselves. In this brief video, we will give you a taste of this. We often group our use of technology under six headings. Additive manufacturing, test development, automation, simulation, augmented reality manufacturing, product development. Additive manufacturing, popularly known as 3D printing, is increasingly used in mainstream manufacturing and is a powerful tool to help reduce time to market and development costs. We have been particularly successful in using 3D printing to customizing our fully automated production lines. Kitron has invested in additive manufacturing technology and competence. We currently have 3D printers in most of our sites and we use them to produce prototypes, but also to manufacture our own production equipment. Many of our customers' products come with very little room for error, be they fighter jets or medical devices. So testing the product, simulating and verifying functionality under load and stress has always been at the core of what we do. Kitron has developed a proprietary test platform called SATS, Standard Automated Test System. SATS reduces investment cost and makes it easy to move production as SATS is used across all Kitron sites. Automation is not the answer to everything, especially not as some of the production series we make for customers are limited in volume. However, our ambition is to automate whenever appropriate, and there is no doubt that an increasing proportion of our production will be untouched by humans. We have installed complete automated assembly lines, including various functional tests, product marking, traceability, and packing of complete devices. Kitron often works with customers at an early stage of the product life cycle, and this phase can certainly be improved through innovative use of technology. One example is simulation. In the future, before we build a new product, we will first create and optimize its digital twin using a software model. In this way, we can avoid errors and optimize the product even before we make it. Another use of simulation is for setting up production. We simulate how the production line will work, including robots. Both these tools are currently being used when discussing new business with customers. We demonstrate the production flow using virtual reality and are able to suggest changes to the product and production setup that will improve cost competitiveness. This means using computer-generated video, graphic, or sound to enhance a real-world view of objects. In our world, this is especially useful in making better assembly instructions. This makes instructions clearer and easier to understand, improving quality and reducing training time. It also allows for remote assistance so that an engineer on one continent may guide the operator on another. Increasingly, Kitron is involved by customers in the development of new products from early concept design to volume manufacturing. We have been supporting our customers by improving the manufacturability and testability of their products. But now, we are also fully designing products from concept to volume per our customers' requirements. The increased use of technology is helping Kitron to support our growth while improving our profitability.